Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today, we're going to be doing the next pack, pack three, of the Ixo Collections release of build the Lancia 037. That means we're going to be doing stages 9 to 12. Now if you remember what we created last time, quite a little jigsaw puzzle it was to create this frame here. We're actually going to be putting the bulkhead on this side and we're actually going to be adding on to this frame so it's a little bit more difficult than the last one and I thought that was difficult enough. Uh, but this is great to actually make the frame a little bit like we did for the Porsche 917 from Ixo Collections as well. Now if you want to get this for yourself I have put a link down here in the video description there's also a QR code on the screen there you can click on that you can get this all the way from pack one but without further ado let's get cracking. As you can see, look, I've got a brand new workstation. I always go for new cutting mats, but I do like the white ones and the blue ones. They seem to come out better on camera. But uh, this is the magazine. Remember, uh, the uh, magazine's in French, but if you want the English instructions, they all are online on the Ixo website. So it's going to start with stage nine. And as I said, you do have that bulkhead here that we're going to create. And we're going to be attaching that to the frame that we had already built that I just previously showed you, making sure that the steering column's going through the hole there. So at the end of it, it's looking just like this. So quite a few little parts in this one. Let's get this open. Now this bulkhead looks just like this, and this is metal, all metal. So first thing I want to do, just lay this down like this. So we have got these tabs looking like that, which we need to put onto these points just here. Now I'll put a tiny bit of oil just on my screw there, just to get this screwed in. Just so you know what way round it goes, hopefully you can see that, it should go that way round. Do the same on the other side. And there you go, that's those two tabs in place. So we just want to turn that over now. Take this reservoir section and these flaps need to be facing up. It's going to go into these two holes just here. So get that lined up, one in this side here and one in the hole on this side. And then push that in. It will hold itself, it's not going to need any glue, as you can see. I've then got this base plate to put in, which is going to go into the two holes just underneath that on this side. So again, got some lugs here, line them up, and put that in like that. And then finally, the other thing we've got, we've got two pipes, we've got a longer one and a shorter one. Now what I'm going to do is put a bit of glue just on the nipples here, so that when I put these pipes in, they're not going to fall out. So the shorter one's going to go onto my right hand side here. Get that all the way on. And the longer one here is going onto my left side. Tweezers are good to help you put these pipes over the nipples. Now I'm also going to put just a little bit of glue just into this hole here. It's probably not going to need it, but I do have a cap to put on that, which uh, I'll put it in first, I think, because it is quite a tiny one. When that's on, it should look like that. I want to bring over what we worked on in the last pack here, and I want to ensure that this steering column here goes through the hole on this side. So I'm putting this in this way round. So it's going to go in just like that. I've just balanced it on here for a second. Now we want to ensure that these ends here on these forks are going into the holes either side here. So one this side, and one the other side. And then we need to hold these in place with some AM screws. Just from the back side here, I have put some oil on these. That's one. And just do the same on the other side. And then here's where I've just found a mistake. I've got this bottom section upside down. That's not good. So let's just take these two brackets off because I'm going to need to spin this section round. And that does mean just taking the screw out the sides here. One and two. See, I make mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> there you go. That'll enable this part to come off and I just need to flip it over. 
because I'm silly and I put it in wrong. See, I only noticed that was wrong <laughs> when I got to this stage. And the reason being is because I'm about to put some CM screws into these holes here, which I couldn't do the other way around because these bars were getting in the way. So now put these CM screws in here, to each side, and then that firewall will be solidly in place. And there we go. That's in, looking just like that. The last thing we've got is a universal joint looking like that, which is gonna go on the end of the steering rod here. And it's held in, if I show you here, with AM screws each side. Just getting that lined up and I'll put an AM screw in each side. There you go, that's the last side going in here. That's the universal joint in, and that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 10, as you can see, we've got the battery and we've got the frame for the battery to sit onto, which looks like that. We are gonna be attaching that to the firewall as well. And that all looks just like this. Get all of those pieces out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna take the top and we're gonna put it on here. We have got different size lugs in here, which dictate, dictates which way round this is going in. So I'm just gonna push this into place. You heard it clip in there, like that. And then I'm gonna use a tiny bit of glue, once again. This time I'm gonna put it on with a cocktail stick because there are really tiny holes in here. I'm gonna put some glue in here. It doesn't ask you to do this in the instructions. The reason I'm doing it is because I don't want these terminals coming out, but we've got battery terminals to put in. So, on that side. And one that side, so there's the battery. Now I want the frame that it fits on to be this way round. I'm gonna put the battery in place. It's just gonna go on like this, turn it over, it's going to be held in with SP screws just into this side here. That's one. And two. We have got some SM screws here. I'm just going to get them open. Because now this is going to fit into the two holes we've got on this bulkhead here just at the back. So it's going to fit on like that, held in with those SM screws. So again, one in this side. and one just in the other side here. Now the last thing to do that I don't know if I was meant to have done on the last stage is the pipe that's coming off of the reservoir here. It's just gonna go into the bulkhead on this nipple. I'm just putting again a little bit of glue, all these pipes I'm putting glue on because I don't want them coming off afterwards. I'm just gonna slip this over the end and there you go, that's in place like that. The other one is unattached at the moment, but that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 11, as you can see, we're working on some more of the frame. We've got this pull rod here, some brackets, lots of screws. So we're gonna get these together as well. So again, by the end of it, we're building onto what we've just created here. So it's looking like this. So here's stage 11, this rod here, it translates as jack bar. So, first thing I want to do is I want to take this frame with this nipple that we've got here facing upwards. I say a nipple, that looks more like a lug actually. We've got two brackets that I want to put on either side. So one here and one on the other side over here. Now they haven't told me to put this in with any screws. Now I'm just looking at what screws we're using. I'm thinking they need to be secured in with SM screws. And I believe they're held in from the underside. So, one in this side here. And one this side. Now, bringing over what we've created so far, I'm just gonna push all this to one side. I want this nipple section here to be facing up and these ringlets we've got on each side are going on top of these sections here and there. So then it's gonna sit kind of like that there. You will have to clip it in to make sure that these side bits go behind these sections here. But there we go, that's in. Let's start securing this down. So, 
AM screws first. They're going to go into the two holes that we've got either side here. That's one. And this one's two. We also need AM screws just at the bottom here. That's one. And two. Okay, we're then going to be taking this frame here. It's, this side here is going to go into these holes. When we put it in, we want to make sure we put it in this way. So that these open ends of these ends here are facing towards the frame. So it's going to go in like this on each side. There you go. We're going to hold it into this frame here and here with RM screws. These are flange screws. I'm lined up and screw them in. So one this side and one on the other side here. Get that nice and tight. Now I've got these tiny, tiny supports here that look just like that. They're going to be going into either side here and here. Once again, I am going to just drop a tiny bit of glue in there because I don't want these supports coming out. One here. And one on the other side. It's very really hard to see in the picture which way round they go, but I'm going to put mine in this way because they'll fit more flat this way here. So one there and one there. So they look like that. I've got these two brackets here now, which I need to piece together to make one. So they just have lugs in the center. We just put them together so that they go on like that. And then I take this, what they're calling a jack bar. And then from this end here, this is just going to go down like that there. And that's going to fit into the little brackets that we just put at the top. Clips in one and two like that. Now I can see why they're calling it a jack bar. <laughs> and that is all there is to do in that stage. So in the last stage, once again, lots of frame pieces, as you can see here. We're going to get all of these assembled again. So little hooks to go in as well, by the look of it. A few details. So by the end, we've got this whole section here and a belt by the look of it as well. So I'll get everything out and lined up neatly. Bring over what we've been working on. I lie it flat because we've got this frame here, which is going to extend out from what we've just created there. It's gonna sit this way around with these pointing upwards. And it's held in from each side with GM screws. So one in here. And just one in the other side here. Now we need this brace here. We want the right hand side one. This is stamped with a little R just on one of these ends here. That's gonna be fitting between the frame here which does come up and the frame at the top, kind of like that there. So GM screw just through this side first. Get that all the way in. And then just to mix it up a bit, the top section of this frame, which goes into the point just there, is gonna be held in with an EM screw. And get that all the way in. Excellent. And then you've guessed it, we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So GM screw through here. I have put oil on this and I do find using my heavy duty PH1 screwdriver gets these in a lot easier. We'll take that back and then once again, an EM screw just on the other side. Now this bar here is going to go on the top sections of what we've just connected with these sections here facing down. Just uh, line them both up each side. Once again, they're going to be held in with GM screws for each side here. And just do the other side. We're just turning this upside down here. We've got a little hole here 
for one of these hooks to go in. Now, what I am going to do once again, don't want this falling out, little bit of glue down there, put the hook into place with the open end of the hook facing out. And there you go, tweezers help that out, get that in. The other hook that we've got, if I just turn this back round, is going into the hole just at the top here. So once again, a little bit of glue into that hole and the open end facing outwards again. And again, I've got tweezers here, which are just gonna help me push that in. without breaking the piece. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. We do have a belt left over here, but there you go. It's quite an interesting, difficult little pack. But uh, once I corrected my mistake from the last pack, as you can see, it's come out perfect. You see, I never claim to be uh, infallible. I'm always making mistakes, but I mean, it is looking really good. Check that out. Without those instructions, look how much detail there is in that framework. <laughs> Crazy. Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, the Ixo Collections link is down here. There's also a QR code on the screen there. You can scan and that'll take you straight to this build. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.